right, YouTube, welcome back. Got another one here for you today. City of Norfolk towing and recovery. All the uh, vehicles here we have, um, let's see, um, just under 80 vehicles this auction here. All online, auction757.com, A-U-C-T-I-O-N, 757.com. I'm going to go ahead and do a quick, uh, basically a quick walkthrough uh, of every vehicle. If we can start them, we will try to start them. Of course, all vehicles are sold as is, where is. If there is any key fees, I will try to mention that. Of course, they will have a live in-person inspection for you to come look at these vehicles for yourself, which we heavily encourage that you do before you place any bid. Obviously, everything out here um, you know, probably needs some, uh, some form of work, whether it be uh, pumping up a tire, uh, or might need even need an engine or something like that or completely wrecked of course that is for you to make the determination I am no mechanic this is simply to help you make that determination uh, like I said we will uh, have a chance for you to come out here and look at that all the address information catalog with VIN numbers uh, years make model pictures and of course all the current prices auction 757.com auction 757.com if you have a question that is related specifically to the auction um, in terms of registration or something like that, uh, give us a call, 757-512-8833. Of course, we also have our other auctions that are online, uh, restaurant equipment. If you have a um, question that is uh, specific to the actual uh, city part uh, in terms of um, uh, the paperwork, uh, you would have to reach out to the city of Norfolk Towing. Anyways, all that information is found on our website, auction757.com. I'm going to go ahead and do, uh, like I said, walk through. Some of these vehicles do have key fees. Um, I will mention that. All that is spelled out online. Full terms and conditions, all spelled out online. And if you do get uh, win something and you want to go to the DMV, we suggest the Poplar Hall location. Help yourself out. All right, lot number one here is a 2020 Kia Optima. This one here has approximately 24,000 miles. Um, this was a uh, stolen recovery, and uh, the ignition has been pulled. So when we try to start it, the uh, alarm basically just goes off. It's probably a computerized uh, thing. Uh, anyways, um, so that's basically what she's going to do. I don't really want to have the alarm going off all, all over the video, but as you can see, their ignition has been pulled. Um, here's a quick shot of the uh, inside there. Looks uh, okay. Quick walk around on the passenger. Now, this Kia Optima here, this is the uh, FE trim. GDI on that one. Next up is lot number two. 2018 Kia Optima. Another Optima. This one has approximately 84,000 miles on it. Motor just started up. It's also GDI. Going forward. And going in reverse. All right. Shot of the um, passenger side here. The stolen recovery ignition has been pulled out. This is also a stolen recovery on this one. Ignition has also been pulled out. I will do a quick uh, swing through in there. Here's your engine bay, front bumper. Coming down this side here. Let's see if we can. Oh, well, that side we're not going to open up. Walking over here, driver's side. Is the Optima S S trim, and here's your inside. <laughs> Don't get your fingerprints on anything. There's your pulled uh, ignition, and uh, here's the rest of the inside. Ooh, nice big sunroof. All right, so. Uh, now, of course, when you come look at these vehicles, 
Uh, you're more than welcome to go inside and out underneath. Uh, however, you are not allowed to remove anything. If you're caught removing anything from the vehicles, uh, you will be escorted off the premises uh, and you will not be allowed to bid at any future auction. So please uh, just have respect for yourself, have respect for everything else, um, and, and just, you know, follow the rules as is. Uh, all right, this is lot three here. This is 2006 Suzuki Forenza. No key, so as you see uh, there. Um, quick shot of the interior. Also, there is to be no mechanical work done on site, uh, short of just pumping up a flat tire or you know uh, jumping a dead battery. No, no mechanical work to be done on site. Lot number four is a 2004 Volkswagen Passat. This one here, approximately 221,000 miles on it. No key. What you see is what you get. Stick shift on the Volkswagen. All right, up next, I am going to have this one here. Another Volkswagen. This is lot five, a 2010 uh, Jetta, Volkswagen Jetta, approximately 150,000 miles. This is the 2.5 coming down the passenger side here. I uh, have no key for this one either. Driver's side. Shot of the interior. All right, up next is gonna be lot uh, number six, a 2015 Ford Fusion, approximately 94,000 miles. We're gonna start up, going forward. And reverse. This is your uh, engine compartment here. Ugh. That's what I heard scraping. Coming down the uh, passenger side. And this, like I said, is the 2015 Ford Fusion. Approximately 94,000 miles on this. This is the SE trim model with EcoBoost. It was a I can't even tell. Come look at it for yourself. Oh, there's your interior. Touch screen. Ford Fusion. Next up, lot number seven is a 2007 Suzuki Forenza. This one right here, no key. What you see is what you get. All right, passenger side, around the front to the driver's side. And a quick shot of the interior. All right. And that was your first row. Up next is going to be lot number eight. This is the 2009 Nissan Murano. This one actually has a $225 key fee. Have approximately 248,000 miles on it. V6 automatic. Sorry. This is what it does. So I don't know if you can hear it, but I'm going to put my phone in. Slight buzz or hum. Oh, that's what she does. 
Everything lights up, you just don't, don't go. All right, that was the Nissan uh, Murano. $225 key fee, approximately $248,000 uh, on the Odo. Coming down the uh, passenger side here, this is the SL trim model. Going around the driver's uh, rear. Quick shot of the interior. And that is the Murano. All right, up next is lot number 10. This is uh, night, uh, I'm sorry, um, lot number nine. This is a 2007 Hyundai Tucson. This one here has approximately 232,000 miles on it. We do have the key, uh, but no key key. That's what she does, huh? Had it running the other day. I won't put it in gear because I've it's all messed up. But the, all right. Today it's not working. So. Well, not working it is. today. So that's what it is. That's what she does. All right. That is lot number nine, uh, the 2007 Hyundai Tucson, approximately 232,000 miles. We do have the key, no key fee. Uh, coming along the passenger side here. Let me see if I can uh, wipe off my camera. Here is the rear. Oh, there you go. So, obviously that's uh, running some front end. Airbag deployed. Shot of the interior here. All right. Up next, lot number 10. All right, this one here, this is a 1993 Honda Accord, approximately 237,000 miles on the odometer. All right, on this one, this is a four door, oh no, I'm sorry, two door. Uh, two door on this, looks like it's been lowered. Yep. Shot of the um, passenger rear. Coming over to the driver's rear. And coming back around this side here. Let's uh, open up. Oh, I can't open it up. So, there you go. Looks like a manual. Hurts feeling. All right, next up, lot number 11, and uh, no key on that. Lot number 11 is going to be a 2001 Ford Focus. This one here, no key uh, either. Passenger side. Rear. Driver's side. And that's what it is. And actually, that is a, uh, looks like a five speed on that. All right, up next is going to be lot number 12. This is the 2002 Nissan Altima. This one has approximately 212,000 miles on it. We do have a key, no key fee. This has the 2.5 liter. CVTC. That's what does. And that is what she does, folks. What you just heard her do right there. All right. Coming down the passenger side here. Along the rear. Like I said, 2.5 SL trim model. And 
And if my video is not adequate enough for you, like I said, you are more than welcome to come out here during the preview and check this stuff out for yourself. All that information is spelled out in the terms and conditions on the website, auction757.com. Of course, City of Norfolk for the February 9th, 2023 auction. February 9th. Of course, all the terms are pretty much standard for every auction that we do. Lot number 13 here is going to be uh, 1999 Lexus GS430. This one here, I have no key. There, on... there is a key, but don't do nothing. Okay, I do have a key for this one, actually. Um, but uh, what, she, what she sees, what she does. She's going to sit here. Uh, I do have a key, no key fee, uh, but does not start. All right. Let's do a quick... All right, up next is going to be lot number 14, a 2012 Ford Fusion. This one here has approximately 118,000 miles, $85 key fee. Clicking. All right, this one was uh, running the other day, but uh, can't get it to go this morning. As you heard, it's just clicking uh, this morning. Um, did have it engage uh, going front and back, but uh, you know, I just I can't get it to do it uh, today. So, um, what you see is what you get. Uh, did have it uh, going the other day. Um, I do have the key, eighty-five dollar key fee on this one here. Uh, the Ford Fusion. This is lot number twelve. I'm sorry, lot number um, uh, fourteen. The the 2012 uh, Ford Fusion. Approximately 118,000 miles on the Odo. Uh, you've seen the engine bay here. Let's do a quick walk down the passenger side. Rear SE trim model on this. Interior. All right. Lot number 15 is going to be a uh, 2007 Pontiac G6. On this Pontiac G6, I have no key. What you see is what you get. Let's take a look inside the coupe. All right. Nice. GTP, GTP on the uh, the coupe here. All right, that was the Pontiac. Lot number sixteen is going to be a 2011 Pontiac. I'm sorry, um, Volkswagen uh, CC. Volkswagen CC. This one here, four door, silver. point oh t i guess that's turbo this might be turbo diesel might be a turbo diesel as you can see it says cc there let's see here automatic Up next, lot number 17 is going to be uh, 2003, and that, that Volkswagen was a 2011, by the way. I think I mentioned that. Uh, lot 17 is the 2003 Infiniti G35. On this G35, no key. Four-door, sunroof. Coming along the um, 
passenger side here. Rear driver, interior. All right. Up next, lot 18. This is a 2009 Hyundai Sonata. No key on this. Quick shot of the uh, interior here. Right, up next, I have the uh, <clears throat> lot 19, a 2002 Volkswagen Jetta. This one here is the hatchback uh, version. Hatchback has approximately 178,000 miles on the uh, Odo. Um, let's go down the uh, passenger side here. Two door hatch. Uh, looks like a manual uh, transmission. No key. Six speed. All right. That was the Volkswagen. Up next is lot number 20. I have the 2002 Mitsubishi Lancer. This one here, no key, four door. All right, up next, lot number 21. This is the 2022 Mitsubishi Outlander. Heard her start right up without a jump. There she goes right in the drive. And reverse. As you can see, no jump needed. Yep. Train looks good. All wheel drive. Uh, on this uh, 2022 Outlander, we have 10, approximately 10,723 miles, uh, give or take. Uh, so a little over 10,000 miles on this. All wheel drive SE trim model. This is the Outlander Sport. Outlander Sport on this all-wheel, I'm sorry, all, is it four-wheel drive? Four-wheel drive. I said all-wheel drive. Four-wheel drive on, uh, on this. Doing a look on the, uh, you know, pop the hood or look on the inside? Or... Yeah, let's take a look at the hood. Got the uh, MIVEC drive back. Very clean. Here it running. Sounds well. Sounds good to me. All right, let's take a look on the inside. Uh, by the way, I didn't actually get a far away. This is the driver's side here. More, more complicated. Quick shot on the inside here. Does have a little crack in the windshield, but that's nothing. In other words, what we've done is we've taken what were you saying? pieces of ice and we've put them into a little steel capsule oh, okay. with some ball bearings. And at very, yep. very low temperature, where really the atoms then come. All right, as you can see, 10, 7, 2, 3, as I stated uh, on the odometer. Sounds good. You've got your touch screen here. quite interesting. Four-wheel drive button down there. Push to start there for your uh, for your engine. Uh, quick shot of the uh, 
the rest of the interior fold down seats a little bit and as you keep smashing it actually looks pretty uh pretty good to me being able to float all right anyways uh, let's go ahead and press this button and turn it off mutually buoyant all right see you that it see you there's no later all right <laughs> anyways all right well that is what it is. That uh, is that was lot number 21. This up next is lot number 22. This is a 2014 Nissan Altima. Uh, this one here has a key fee, $225 key fee, approximately 124,000 miles on the Odo. And that uh, Mitsubishi, that last lot, did not have a key fee. But we do have the key. Oh, sorry. There was Ford in reverse there. Like I said, this here is the 2014 Nissan Altima, approximately 124, 225 on the um, Kifi. Up next is going to be lot 23. Lot 23 is going to be a uh, 2002 Honda. This one here is the 2002 Honda Accord. Uh, no key fee. What you see is what you get. No key, no key fee. Um, four door. Bumpers obviously hanging off in the front. A shot of the rear. This was the LX LX on this Accord here. And a quick quick shot of the inside. Alright. Up next is lot 24 here. Lot 24 is going to be a 2005 Infiniti FX35 on this uh, Infiniti uh, SUV. And this FX35 has approximately 275,000 miles on the Odo. We do have the key, no key fee. This has the V6 3.5 liter. You heard her, uh, heard her there. Might be, a, might be a jump box, yeah. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and grab another jump box uh, as uh, didn't seem like that had a lot of juice on it. We did have this one running earlier as well. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and grab another box just in case uh, that seems to be the issue. And that might have been what the issue is with the other ones. I cannot say, you know, we gotta obviously keep it moving here. Um, but uh, anyways, um, on this uh, um, lot 24 here, the 2005 Infiniti FX35, uh, like I said, two se approximately 275,000 miles. Let's do a quick walk around on this. Driver's side here. Let's do a shot of the interior while we're uh, on this side. Come back to the rear. Go along the passenger side. All right. And as you can see, it does have some front end damage right there. All right, that is the Infinity. Like I said, I will wait for him to go grab the other box. Um, looks like I've got quite a few here that I can keep going on and doing. So we're going to keep jumping forward um, until he comes back. Right now, uh, up next, we will come back to this one here. Uh, up next, I've got uh, lot number 25. 
And this is going to be a 1997 Ford F-150. Has approximately 114,000 miles on it. This is the extended cab XL trim model um, on this white pickup truck here. Uh, no key, no key fee, obviously, with no key. Um, driver's side. See if we can look inside right quick. Okay. Get you a nice Wrangler jacket with this one here. And some boots or something. Alright, coming back to the rear. Plastic bed liner. Alright. That is the Ford F-150. Up next is going to be lot number 26. This is going to be a 2001 BMW 325i. On this 325i here, I have no key. And I don't know if I mentioned it, but lot 25, that F-150, had approximately 114,000 miles on it. Circling around here before we go back. We're getting ready to go back to that, uh, that car. We've got a new jump box ready. Um, here's a quick shot of your interior of the BMW. All right, that was lot 26. All right, new jump pack on it, starts right up. And uh, this is we're obviously back to lot number 24, the 2005 Infiniti FX35. I missed four, damn it. Well, she went forward and back. Shot at the uh, side of the engine bay. That was the Infinity, and I already gave you a shot of the inside, so let's go ahead and jump back right to it. Lot number 27 is going to be a 1999 Volkswagen uh, Cabrio. This is the soft top, two-door, kind of a greenish color here. Uh, no key on this one. Quick shot of the interior. A little rough in there. Cabrio. Alright. There you go. Up next, we've got the uh, Ford. This is the Ford Focus. This is lot 28. It's a 2003 Ford Focus. Uh, it's a ZX3. I have no key on the two door. This is the hatch. Um, anyways, this is the uh, rear passenger. Circling around the uh, rear driver. Let's go ahead and peek inside. Oh, not going to be doing that. No key lock. Couple, some dings. All right, that's lot 28. The Ford Focus 2003. Up next, lot number 29 is a 2013. Uh, Audi A4. This one has approximately 101,000 miles on this A4. Obviously, you can see the front end damage here. Um, I have no key. Take a look on the inside. Oh, it didn't like me opening up that. That's your uh, security alarm. Shot of the rear here on the A4. And passenger side. Oh, 
All right, that was lot number 29, lot number 30, the Toyota. This one here is gonna be a 1994 Toyota Camry. Has approximately 137,000 miles on it, on this camera here. Four door. Coming on the driver's side here. No key. Rear LE trim model. Lot 30. Lot number 31 is going to be 1999 Honda Civic. This one has approximately 182,000 miles on it. About 182 on this one. Whoa. Obviously has some uh, side, uh, side collision here. Let's do a quick shot of uh, inside. So obviously this one has some Alright. That was lot 31, 99 Honda Civic, approximately 182,000 miles on it. No key. You saw the damage. Lot number 32 is gonna be uh, a 97 Dodge Intrepid. Approximately 172,000 miles on this one here. Four door, no key. Bumper hanging off, wheels uh, gone. As I stated, a lot of these will have to be towed out of here. Quick shot of the uh, interior on this. Rears. All right, moving on. Up next, after the Intrepid, we have lot number 33, a 2003 Honda Accord. On this Accord, this is the two-door. V6. Let's see if we can open up the inside. Nope, locked. All right, there is your record. Next up, lot number 34 is gonna be uh, 1999 Isuzu Rodeo. This one has approximately 187,000 miles on this. Uh, on this rodeo here. Quick shot of the interior. There's the rest of the bumper. Alright, here is your rear the rodeo all right up next that had approximately 187,000 miles on that one up next lot 35 is a 2000 cadillac deville on this one here continuing on with no keys this is four door Deville V uh, 32 V North Star DHS. All right, cool. That's your Cadillac there. All right, up next is lot 36, a 2012 Lincoln MKZ. Lincoln MKZ with all wheel drive. Uh, starting off here in the rear, let's come down the uh, passenger side. <clears throat> well, let's see. Let's just do a quick shot here. Go along here. Let's go 
Let's see if I could uh, actually uh, open up the hood on this, baby. It's worth opening the hood or not? Do you have a key for it? No. No key. Okay. There's your Lincoln. Yeah, stinking Lincoln. Yeah. If we can. If it if it's quick. I just saw it pop. Alright. Up next is gonna be lot 37, uh, 2004 Jeep Liberty. Has approximately 161,000 miles on it. Oh, here we go. By the way, this is your uh, inside of your Lincoln here. Just so you can see. That is your Lincoln MKZ. All right. Uh, and that did have the sunroof, by the way. Lot number 37, getting back to it, is the 2004 Jeep Liberty. Approximately 161,000 miles on it. This one here. No key. It's like a greenish color. Shot of the inside. Spare tire on the rear. All right. Four by four. Okay, that's your Jeep Liberty. Up next is going to be lot 38. And 38 is a 2001 Ford Econoline. This is the uh, work van here. Approximately 334,000 miles has the uh, rack on top. Uh, no key on this. Pastor side. Does have the cage on the inside. Coming down the uh, driver here. As you can see, approximately 334 on the Odo there. In the back full of tools and everything else even a ladder sitting right there on the front seat shot of the rear yep full to the back all right and what's what she does what you see is what you get lot number 39 is going to be a 2008 ford f-150 this is the red one here extended cab xl triton has the uh, diamond plate toolbox on it. And then uh, obviously has some front end, uh, or I'm sorry, some uh, side damage here on the driver's side. Wheel off, will have to be towed out. Shot of your interior. And four by four, does have uh, four by four. There is your rear. All right. Up next, I got another. Uh, this is the V8 Titan. So that would mean a Nissan. Yep, lot 40, 2008 Nissan Titan. This one has a. Uh, we have the key. No key fee. Approximately 217,000 miles. <laughs> So that's basically what she does. Some uh, maybe an emissions issue or something. Uh, smell it very rich, very very rich. Maybe cat or something like that. Cat issue yeah, or listen. cat's gone. Yeah, you can hear it was kind of loud there when we were trying to start it up. Anyways, that's the Nissan uh, Titan V8, approximately two hundred seventeen thousand on it. We do have the key. This is the four door edition here. Uh, your your four door, your crew cab. It also looks like it might even be an eight foot bed on that as well. Um, shot from the rear flat tire all right that is your Nissan up next lot 41 it's gonna be a Ford uh, I believe it's the Taurus Get my paper flipped. Nineteen ninety nine Ford Taurus, approximately two hundred and sixty one thousand miles on this one here. This uh, no key, um, 
kind of a reddish color. Anyways, coming along the uh, passenger side and then the driver's side. And if you want to see inside. All right. Up next, lot 41. It's going to be, uh, I'm sorry, um, 42. Yeah. 40, 42. Okay. Uh, 42 is a 2014 uh, Infinity Q50, Q50. And this has approximately 127,000 miles on it. Uh, as you can see, we have some damage here on the driver's side. I'm sorry, the passenger side. Uh, passenger side, you can see that the bumper's all kind of caved in there and the uh, control arm was... I, mean, I have a key for this. Uh, oh, we do key have a key. Works, the key works the door, but the, the dash doesn't uh, recognize the fog part of it. So okay, sure so a uh, key unlocks the door, uh, but um, probably because of the accident or something, uh, whatever, whatever reason, um, it is not uh, corresponding with the computer on board, but uh, do have a key for it. It is a 3.7. It will obviously have to be towed out of here. Um, 3.7, uh, you've got your, uh, um, uh, your wheels, your aftermarket wheels there on the Q50. Let's take a look on the inside. The yep, drive shaft there. Airbag deployed, leather interior. All right. Up next is going to be lot 43, a 2002 GMC Savannah. Uh, on this Savannah, uh, has the uh, 2500 on this uh, little like work van type deal. Has the cage inside, I do believe. Let's take a look, see if we can't uh, shot of your interior. Here's your cage. All right. Up next, lot 44, 2002 Dodge Ram 1500. On this one here has approximately 194,000 miles. Uh, obviously we got uh, some flat tires, uh, extended cab. 2500 V8. Tires look good on this side, though. Anyways, here's your Dodge. It has that headache, headache rack. And there's your interior, all chewed up. Pretty chewed up. All right. Then the door. Anyways, that's your Dodge. What you see is what you get on that one. Lot 45 is a 2008 Ford Taurus. Uh, this Taurus has an $85 key fee, approximately 178,000 miles on it. Four door here. Something in the engine. There's something wrong with the engine. Definitely. Okay. But, yeah. Uh, so we had it running, uh, not running right now for whatever reason, but uh, does have uh, some sort of rod knock or an engine issue. Um, uh, just to keep that in mind. Uh, but anyways, this was lot 45, the uh, Ford uh, Ford Taurus here, approximately 178,000 miles, $85 key fee on the 2008. Let's do a quick walk towards the back. SEL trim model on this. Coming along the driver's side here. Keyless or entry and shot of your interior. All right. Up next, after that, Ford is going to be the Chevy. This is a 2007 Chevrolet Malibu on lot 47 here. Uh, Malibu is an LT V6, LT V6, starting here at the passenger rear. 
coming along the uh, to the front. Shot of the uh, side. All right. Up next is going to be lot 47, 2001 Nissan Altima GXE. GXE. This is silver. Starting here at the rear. Coming up towards the uh, front passenger. Hey, let's go ahead and just take a peek on the inside. Obviously, windows are. Uh, down there so you can see uh, what's going on bumper sitting up top uh, but uh, this one here no key what you see is what you get all right up next lot number 48 is going to be a 97 toyota camry on this one here four door white whitish once you give it a bath oh not gonna open that door All right, you got your nail kit, hair kit. Toyota Camry LE, LE on the trim right here. LE on this trim model. All right, let's start from the rear of this one here. This is uh, the Chevy. Um, Lumina, a 1999 Chevy Lumina. And this one here, I have no key either on this, kind of like a burgundy color. Uh, airbags actually been deployed on this one here. Uh, both airbags been in a front end uh, collision, um, as you can see. Some decent front end damage there on the Lumina. All right, lot number 50 is going to be um, a 2002 Chevrolet Malibu. This Malibu here is kind of like a goldish color. Four door, a little donut on the back. V6, all right. Starting at the rear of this next one here, this is gonna be, uh, two, I'm sorry, lot uh, 47, uh, tooth, no, this is, um, uh, lot 51, uh, 51, a 2005 Chrysler Pacifica, Chrysler Pacifica. This one here has approximately 208,000 miles on it. Um, Got to see if we have the key. I know there is no key fee on this, uh, but we'll walk around and see if we have the key. This one here on this SUV, starting here at the passenger side. Sunroof up top. Coming down the uh, driver's side here. Oh, a little rough in there. Yeah, I don't think I don't think we have a key for that. I do not think so. All right, lot number 52 is going to be a 2011 Nissan <clears throat> Altima. And uh, that Nis this Nissan Altima here is a four-door. Yeah, that Chrysler was a little rough. Um, this one here is uh, uh, the Nissan Altima uh, four-door. As you can see, has the uh, tire, uh, a couple tires off of it. Um, coming on the driver's side here. Let's take a peek on the inside. Trying to avoid the little springiness to the door. Anyways, there's your Nissan Altima here. All right, so tires on this side, but not on this side. Okay.
Up next, lot number 53 is going to be a 2002 Toyota Camry. This one here, I have no key. Four door. Starting here on our next lot, uh, this is going to be, um, let me see where we are here, I think we're a lot 54, 2003 Lexus ES300, this one here has approximately 304,000 miles, uh, he's going forward there, and he's going to go in reverse, you do have a $125 key fee, here's your reverse, get your uh, engine here, this is the EV. There's your VVTi V6 24V automatic on this Lexus here. Sunroof, four door. All right, like I said, approximately 304,000 um, on the uh, odometer. Shot of your uh, interior there. All right. ES300. Up next after that is going to be um, a lot 55, a 2004 Econo line. This one has approximately 140,000 miles on it. On this is a Triton V8 work van from uh, Ford. Has the rack up top. Let's take a peek through this window that's out. Got some tires in the back. Looks like a pressure washer of some sort. Some lawn chairs. Oh yeah, there's your front. We could circle around the back too. E150. All right. All right. Up next is going to be the Audi, your uh, Audi A4, and um, this one is a 2005, lot 56, a 2005 Audi A4 uh, cab, and this one is a two-door soft top, two-door soft top on this A4, starting here at the uh, driver rear. Let's see if we can actually open up this uh, door here, take a look on the inside. Automatic. Alright, there's your Audi A4, 1.8T, 1.8 turbo. Alright, up next is going to be uh, Honda. This one here is your uh, Honda Pilot. And this is lot 57, a 2006 Honda Pilot. This one uh, has the uh, four-wheel drive. I have no key. There's a shot of your passenger side. Out of the inside. All right, now if that's a real banana, I'm throwing this out. Oh my god, that is just weird and disgusting. I don't even know why I touched it. <laughs> oh man. But some of you that know me know I'm a curious, I'm a curious guy. If it's, uh, I was, I was, you know, I was one of the kids that liked to look with my hands, right? Anyways. All right, this is the uh, Honda here, and that is it. What you see is what you get on that one, all right? That's lot 57. Up next, lot 58 is going to be a Chrysler, 2010 Chrysler 300. On this Chrysler here, this is the four-door, black in color, some chrome accents on it. Looks like maybe aftermarket wheels, I do believe. Anyways. Um, let's see if we can look on the inside. Inside. Ooh. Inside's actually not too bad. Looks fairly clean to me. Mm. 
All right. Coming along the uh, this side here. All right, that was your uh, Chrysler. Up next, I got another Audi A4, the uh, 2.0T. This one here uh, is going to be um, a lot 59, uh, 2010 Audi A4. Has approximately 116,000 miles here, 2.0T turbo, I believe. Uh, coming along the uh, passenger rear up to the front, have the sunroof up top there. looks pretty clean though all right well, that was uh, lot 59 your uh, a4 um, quattro, quattro uh, all Audi lot number 60 is gonna be uh, a 2005 Cadillac CTS Cadillac CTS this one here is kind of like that uh, cream color like a like a off-white cream uh, anyways, has the sunroof, uh, which is actually uh, cracked open there. Um, got your fingerprint dust on it. So I can tell you what that means. All this fingerprint dust. Alright, here's your uh, interior. Got the subwoofer. You got a subwoofer in the back. Yep. Shots on the rear. All right, there is your Cadillac CTS 2005. That one, like I said, no key. Uh, up next, I've got the BMW. This one here is going to be lot 61, a 2006 BMW 330i. Starting here from the passenger rear, uh, as you can see, going all the way down. Circling around this side here, handful of dings, no key, sunroof, Let's see if I can get in, but yeah, no key. All right, up next, that was lot 61. Up next is going to be lot 62, and that is a 2007 Honda Accord on this one here. Four door, flat tire in the rear, some windows down. Pretty rough on the inside. Looks like uh, you do have the key actually on the inside there, uh, but uh, you got some parts hanging off. Anyways, let's do a quick shot from back here. Up next, I'm going to have this Chevrolet Tahoe, lot 63, a 2001 Chevrolet Tahoe. No key on this. LS trim, LS trim on uh, on this one here. Oh wow, some sort of a speaker. There you go, freaking portable speaker. Some other stuff. All right, that's your Tahoe. Uh, 64 is going to be uh, 2008 Lincoln MKX. MKX on this Lincoln lot 64. And this one here, I have uh, no key. Uh, but coming along the passenger side. Looks 
Looks like it might be uh, a little funky inside. We'll uh, see if we can't try to open up one of these doors. Yeah, she's a little funky inside. All right, that's lot 64. Up next, lot 65. This is gonna be a 1994 Chevrolet Silverado. On this Silverado extended cab here. The tire, that actually is like a brand new tire. Still has the barcode, nice tread on that one. I have not looked at the rest of them. Uh, but anyways, coming along the, uh, let's go along the driver's side here. Yeah, that one's definitely not the same tire, so you got a couple of randos. But that one was brand new, or close to it. Uh, here you go, approximately 200,000. I mean, almost on the dot. At least that's what we're showing on the Odo. Extended cab here, does have the crack in the windshield. Don't see the tailgate either. But what you see is what you get as always. All right, up next is going to be lot number 66 a 2002 chrysler pt cruiser on this one here stuffed full of stuff 137,000 uh, approximate miles um, 137,000 no key on this let's go ahead and do a walk around my hands are about frozen at this point about 30 degrees this morning, so it feels nice and nice and chilly. Here's your uh, interior. Full. All right. Up next is going to be this uh, Ford Taurus. Um, this Ford Taurus here is a 94 and lot number 67 1994 ford taurus approximately 164 thousand miles on this one here let's do your walk around starting from the passenger rear that door is locked no key yeah doors are locked on this uh guy so i can't really show you the interior other than doing that all right up next is gonna be uh this mustang here ford mustang this is a 2000 lot number 68 a 2000 ford mustang silver in color on this mustang on the mustang 68 and a shot of your interior a little rough stick shift wow five speed I think I've seen more automatic Mustangs than manual but that actually is a manual Cool. All right, up next is going to be a lot 69, a 2003 Mazda MX-5 Miata. All right. Cool little Mazda Miata. Silver, soft top. Starting from the rear here. I do have the uh, window cracked down there. Uh, yeah, and the seat. <coughs> the seat's kind of just chilling there. I don't know if that's the passenger seat or the driver's seat. But uh, obviously you can see components have been, uh, the gear shift and uh, dash has all been smashed or taken out. Um, missing the bumper here. So obviously this one has been through, uh, who knows, it might have even been a drift car at some point. Uh, 
steering wheel's all gone and everything else. Uh, anyways, and yeah, window down on that side too. But I can't, uh, by no stretch of mechanic, I can't uh, make any determinations. Come check out all these vehicles for yourself. Like I said, all these will have some sort of uh, inherent faults. Um, all that information, preview times, dates, location, auction757.com. Lot number 70, almost done here. Got about five more lots for you. Lot uh, 70 is a 2002 Chevrolet Trailblazer. On this Trailblazer here, as you can see. Okay. Front end damage there. Shot of the uh, interior. Maybe that's where the... Uh, front end damage came from you know a little heinies a little couple too many heinies you know too many heinies and too many backwoods <laughs> no officer i swear i uh i'm sober <laughs> as he's got like a six pack empty on this on the floor uh classic you really can't make some of this stuff up Anyways, uh, yeah, it didn't last long. 30-day tags. Um, on, on this, um, uh, on the Trailblazer, the Chevrolet, uh, coming around the um, rear here, does have some plastic trim uh, kind of hanging off there, flat tire. Opening up the uh, other side here. All right, that's your Trailblazer. Up next... Ooh, up next, what do we have? I've got the Challenger 2022 Dodge Challenger. Supercharger, Hemi. Well, it's the overhead, the, uh, what do you call it? Uh, the one that always sucks air all the time. I forgot the name. Supercharger, that's a supercharger. And these are the This uh, does have the uh, airbag that has been uh, deployed. And, uh, Airbags deployed. Here's your interior. SRT. Uh, I meant to catch it as, uh, maybe I can actually catch it as I reopen the door. Uh, uh, guys, I'm doing a video. Alright, shot of your rear. does have a couple of uh, flat tires here. Looks like you can see the uh, airbag has been uh, deployed. There's your shifter there. Do we have the key for this? No. No. No key. All right. And there is your supercharged Hemi Challenger, approximately 35,000, I'm sorry, 3,500, 3,500, 3,500 miles, 35, 35, a little over 3,000 miles on the 2022, there you go, like I said, uh, it does have uh, some, uh, some damage here, it does have the sunroof, anyways, hopefully I can circle enough around here for you to make... Uh, you see enough here. Okay. <clears throat> All right. All right. Up next is going to be. Uh, I've got uh, about seventy-two. Is going to be a two thousand six Toyota Corolla. Guys, I'm trying to do the video, man. It's lot seventy-two. It's a two thousand six Toyota Corolla. I have no key on this. Full. I can't uh, open the door uh, on this. The stuff will start piling out here. Anyways, uh, black in color. No key. And shot of the passenger side while I'm here. All right. And one last glance over of this.
All right, moving on. Definitely come check these out for yourselves. Uh, yeah, and we've already done the 2006 Toyota Corolla. Up next, lot 73, a 1999 Chevrolet S10 on this S10. No key, black in color, extended cab. Accurate reports. All right, tires and whatever else that is, an engine or something in the back. Maybe he was a mechanic of some sort. I have no idea. All right. Well, what you see is what you get. No key. All right. After that, I've got lot number 74, a 2003 Dodge Durango. Let me speak on this one just real quick. I had a key made for it. It did start running drive, but the linkage is uh, slipped out or broke or something, so I can't get it back in the park, so I can't do anything with it now to demonstrate anything. But... Okay. So we had a key made for it. Um, during the uh, initial uh, just trying to get it into gear, I guess the linkage um, had an issue or, or broke, and basically now it uh, is stuck in gear, and so we can't uh, put it back in park so that we can obviously start it for the video. Um, so unfortunately, what you see is what you're going to get today. We do have the key for it. Um, like I said, we did have it running at one point, but uh, I guess the linkage has broken, so uh, we'll obviously need to be uh, towed out of here um, on this. Uh, that's lot 74, 2003 Dodge Durango, uh, $85 key fee, approximately 156,000 miles on this one here. Uh, let's do a quick shot of the engine bay. Okay. Ford door has your running boards. V8 Magnum on this Durango. Third row seating. All right. Up next is going to be the Jeep. Lot 75, 2007 Jeep Patriot. Got approximate... That's what she does. So she kind of just sits there and whines and whines and cries like the rest of them, right? <laughs> uh, approximately 100, uh, 111,000 miles. 111, a little over 111,000 miles on the Odo. $85 key fee on this uh, Jeep Patriot. 2007. Let's go ahead and do a quick walk by coming down the uh, passenger side here. Four wheel drive, four by four. Coming up the driver's side here, let's take a look on the inside. Just a shot of your interior, automatic transmission. All right, and that is the Jeep Patriot 2007, 2.4 liter dual VVT. All right, last but not least, what everyone's probably been waiting for, lot number 76, a 1982 Chevrolet P-Series food truck. All right, I know this probably has some of our customers excited, a food truck. Approximately 67,000 miles on the Odo, or at least what's showing there. Uh, this one, we do not have the keys. Uh, the doors are, are locked uh, currently. But uh, anyway, let's uh, do a quick walk around just to see if I can give you um, something to gauge off of here. All right, lot 76 Chevrolet food truck here. We have uh, coming along the passenger side, we do have your sliding door, um, two jump seats there, your sliding uh, order window here. Okay, looks like maybe a, maybe a menu board. Looks like a, maybe a generator holder or rack on the rear. Yeah, so that's to hold your uh, generator. That's to hold your uh, propane bottle coming up you have your double doors locked still uh what do we have in here we have a is that a hood looks like a hood system sink four burner stove a little uh, there's your generator a little microwave some shelving all right uh, and coming along the driver's side here just uh straight up uh you know just a door 
All right, that is your step van. It's a step van 30 made by Chevrolet, which like I said, has been converted into a food truck. There's your uh, hood up, uh, up top. All right, well, hopefully this video helped you out. I appreciate you hanging out till the end. If it did help you out, smash that like button for us. If you haven't already subscribed to our YouTube channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button to stay in the loop for all of our upcoming sales. Of course, you can always subscribe to our newsletter, auction757.com, halfway down on the right-hand side. We send out an email every Sunday around noon or 1 o'clock just to give you an update as to what we have coming up uh, for sales. Anyways, if you have any questions, like I said, that are not answered throughout this video uh, that are specific to uh, the auction uh, process, not the vehicles, we do not have any answers on terms of uh, condition or, or, or you know anything to do with the history of the vehicles. Uh, in terms of that, you need to come look at it for yourself or do a Carfax. But anything other than that, reach out to us, 757-512-8833. Appreciate you looking at the video. Like I said, hopefully it helped out. Have a great one and see you on the next one. Thanks again. Bye-bye.